So where we left off last time, we were going to the Fire Temple. We can easily get to it if we pull this back. And we are well on our way. By the way, let me know if you guys can hear the game audio. And if it's too loud or too quiet, because I can do something to turn it up. Oh, uh... Little South Plays, welcome to the stream. I'm trying to move this uh, chat window to the side so I can see the names clearly. Okay, let's continue. Oh look, they're chic. Stream music is something for viewers to enjoy while the streamer is either AFK or sending up to something. It might be a little too quiet. While it's supposed to be a little bit quiet, as as long as you can hear me, the idea is I'm trying to lower the game audio just to make sure that you guys can hear me clearly. But if you want me to turn it up, then I can do something about it. It's not really a problem for me. Uh, but anyhow, it is something that grows over time, a true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power and through it you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. There's the bolero of fire. I hope you guys can hear that, because if you can't, then I, I can do something to adjust the volume within um, Soundflower. Let's see if you guys can hear this. Yep, that's exactly the musical key, Banjo Kabooie. You have learned the Bolero of Fire. That's one of my favorite tunes, by the way. MGM1, I'll see you again. And there are cars running in the background. Song dedicated to the power of the heart, like... Uh, Mati from Captain Planet. I guess so. By the way, as you guys know, there's no music playing here, so uh, you're not going to hear anything for a while until I get to the Fire Temple, which is where I'm headed to right now. Safe and sound. Happy landings. And now, let's go ahead and start our next dungeon, the Fire Temple. And we start off with Fire Keys, which I'm going to ignore because it's really pointless in taking down these guys. Hey, look who's here. It's Darunia. Who's there? Is that you, MGM1? I think I need to give a different voice to this guy. I'm, I'm gonna try like a Hulk Hogan or something. Oh, it really is, MGM1. You've grown so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil ancient dragon, Volvagia. On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races that might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead to try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned though because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. By the way, my blue stuff microphone is sort of covering up the screen. Let me just move it up a bit. There we go, that should be better. MGM1, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoner cells are in the opposite direction. I'm counting on you, MGM-1. As well as you can, Darunia. I'll do the best I can to save your people while moving some windows around again. 
freaking freaks fire keys oh that's your tune <laughs> you make me laugh little soft plays okay let's get on with the uh, fire tempo so first thing we'll make our way over here to set this first Goron free you're free to go buddy are you releasing me am I free to go I'll tell you a secret for saving me in order to get into the room where Darunia went, you have to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to a room above the ceiling right away. What a very useful hint. I'll have to make a note of that for later. But for right now, we're going to take the contents of this chest with us. It contains a key. And we're going to need plenty of these in order to navigate our way through the temple. I've never done the fire temple as the second temple. That's strange. The, that's strange. The max. The magma looks like kitchen. Uh. Well, that that's that, that's the thing with emulators. Like sometimes they can pull off some weird graphics. I'm not using the Wii console to stream this. I'm actually using an emulator, Muppin 64. Okay. Um. Which way should I go from here? I think I'll start with this way first. Oh, and by the way, Max, I do understand you. Sometimes I do the Fire Temple first and then the uh, the Forest Temple if I get a chance. But this time around, I'm not even going to bother doing it. I'm just going to do things in order. Before I make my way up there, there's a person that we can rescue. And by person, I mean Goron. Hello there, Goron. Yes, you're free to go. Here's a secret for saving me. A wall that you can destroy with the Goron's special crop will sound different than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword. And by special Goron crop, you mean bombs. Because that's just about the only things that are valuable to you, as well as useful. I'm going to do the best I can to demonstrate that later, by the way, guys. When you notice, like, a sound difference when you uh, strike the wall with your sword. Okay, let's play the Song of Time here and bring the block down closer to us so we can access the second door right above us. I hope you guys can hear the game audio, by the way. Let me know if you can hear it, if it's in sync, stuff like that, because I really want to try to make this as good as possible. Oh, shoot, 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 block, block. It's really easy to block these with your shield. People didn't believe me that you could do the tempo first, but it's possible. You only need arrows later on, the, later on in the tempo. Oops, that didn't work. Whoa, okay, okay. Die already. I need to extend the chat window because I can't see that a bit. Okay, um, hopefully that should be better. Sorry about the interruptions, guys. I'm just trying to keep this as good as possible. Okay, I think that should do it. Let's go ahead and continue. Don't want to waste time here. There's our next Gold Skotila. Gold Skotila. Love singing that. Alright. Now we can reach the dungeon by jumping into the area. Wow, this emulator screen is really blocking the chat window. It's like I can't find any room for for the text window as well as the monitor. Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Didn't mean to do this. But it's okay, we are fine. Yeah, I gotta move this to the side, hang on. There, that should do it. Now I'll be able to read people's comments. 
Okay, now this is an example as to what happens when you strike a wall with your sword. It makes a different sound like this, and that lets you know right away that you can just bomb the wall. Or in this case, use the Goron special crop. I'm like hitting an eye with an arrow. Is it any easier doing the fire temple than the second temple? Then as the third. That just leads into a dungeon map chest. Uh, I really need to concentrate on this. Yeah, you guys can talk to yourselves amongst uh, the temples in the game. I'm going to concentrate. But of course, if you guys have any questions for me, be sure to let me know. And I'll try to read up on them. Yes, buddy, you're free to go. I'll tell you a secret for saving me. There are switches in this tempo that you have to cut to activate, but you can also use the Goron special crop to do the job. Interesting. Have to make a note of that for later. Let's take this key with us, and we shall continue. By the way guys, I am really sorry that it took me so long to set up. Multiple things have been occurring on my end prior to me setting up the stream. The first thing being my stupid landlord had to cut off the Wi-Fi because he was installing a new router. So that sucked and I was stuck with no internet for about an hour. The second reason, I was having issues with my computer but those are resolved. And the third thing was, well, I was trying to set up to make sure that things were working properly. You're editing and watching this at the same time, Max? That's fine. Okay, want to be careful here. Freaking keys get out of here. Oh, come on. Usually I can walk along that flawlessly without falling down. Oh well, it has been a long time since I played this game, and I am playing this on an emulator as well as using a Steel Series controller. So, you know, the results could be different between an emulator on computer as well as you playing the game on an N64. You have high speed internet, little soft place. I also do have high speed internet. Okay, well, apparently we're not going to be performing the world's best tightrope walk. What am I saying? That doesn't make any sense. We're not walking on a tightrope, we're walking on a gate. By the way, guys, there's my social media that you can follow. I had that program the other day. That's going to um, pop up every 30 minutes. Why not use the hook shot on the climbable wall? Oh, dumb me. Of course you could do that. I don't know what I was thinking. But as I said, Mega Wii Master 1, it has been a long time since I played this game. So there are some stuff that I can forget. Up we go. That's one cool firework. Firework? I'm probably distracted by the fireworks outside. I meant to say elevator. Yeah, I kid you not, guys. There are neighbors, like, close to my house watching fireworks outside. Oh, no enemy right here. Torch slug. When the fire on its back is extinguished, it will run away. Destroy it before it relights. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that, Banjo Kabooie. Were you trying to post a link or something? I sort of don't remember the commands that I assigned to Nightbot, but uh, you know, it's not much of a big deal for me. Like as long as people understand or explain to me what they did that caused the warning, like post links or such, then uh, yeah, I'll understand. But if you posted a link, then those are not allowed on my uh, Twitch. I'm sorry about that. Is there another torch slug up here? No, there's just a firewall. Okay. It was just an OOT picture. Uh, 
Well, you won't be penalized for that. Maybe you could just message it to me on Twitter or something and I can have a look at it later. Or you could do it now while you're watching the stream. I would use the hook shot to climb on this wall, but that would kind of be a waste of time for me as the CO series controller can be a bit wonky in certain situations. Ow. Okay, in this part of the fire temple we have mazes as well as boulders. I'm a fan of mazes by the way. Not a big fan, but I am a fan. Emax guessed that Cousin Chris's LP of this in 2012 missed it so much. I'll have to take a look at that later. I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In this temple, there are doors that fall down when you try to open them. When one of these doors starts to fall, move. If you use a sample of the Goron special crop, you can break it. Yeah, it's really hard for me to read the chat window with this boost of a microphone in the way. Give me a second, guys. Ah. I guess I should have had this set up better. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, that should do it. We have a core maze near where I live every fall that we always try to get through once a year. I have something like that as well where I live. In fact, I used to go to that core maze, but nowadays I don't. Of course, bear in mind that these were times when I, when I was a little kid. Of course, those times are over for me. Ooh, no. Okay, let's see, what else can we find around here? Oh my God, dead end. Surprised I didn't get hit. Okay. Was not paying attention, I was looking at the chat. This stupid emulator window keeps taking up too much space. A back there 77, welcome to the stream. Oh, this freaking chat window, it's like way too small. Have to readjust it here and there from time to time. I do apologize for this, guys. Okay, let's continue on, shall we? Oh. Uh. Okay, I know, I know for sure that there's a secret that you can find within the maze that leads to a gold sculpture. I'm gonna try to find it. Can you guys hear the game audio, by the way? I still need to know that. Let me tell you a secret as a reward for releasing me. When you are on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword or by rolling forward. Did you know that? Eh, call it a hunch. Okay, in this chest we have yet another key. Boulder stop and then they just roll again. So true. Okay, uh... Hmm. Oh, it's around here. Yeah, this is the secret I was talking about. Skultula! Come here. Go, Skultula! Awesome! Skulltula's at the bottom. Yeah, I just found it. Okay, now we can keep moving forward. Cool! <sighs> Trying to keep my cool. I still like this maze, but at the same time, it's painful. And I'm going the wrong way. You know, I really should read the chat on my second monitor here. That's what I should do. But then again, it's going to be hard to focus on the game 
and read the chat at the same time on the second monitor. Oh, you know what? Before I keep moving forward, I'm going to do this, just in case. In case I fall off, we're going to establish a checkpoint right here. You hear the game audio, though it might be slightly out of sync with the gameplay. Oh boy. Well, that probably means I'll need to restart OBS again. But, uh, I'll probably do that later. Yeah, just looking at the OBS screen... The screen, uh, itself is kind of falling behind with the emulator. I don't know what I can do to fix it during the stream. Like as I said before, I could restart OBS and maybe it should be working by then. But then again, maybe there are some settings that I can mess around with to try to fix it. Okay, let's keep going. I'll think about what to do about this sound desync situation while we're going through. Oh! Good grief, that fire bubble almost caught me. Okay, careful. Yeah, I just remembered something. I just remembered something. Something important. You cast far as win. I actually want to dispel the warp point. And make a new one right here. I guess Navi was supposed to say something, but... Oh. What is it, Navi? MGM1! I hear Goron voices down below! Oh, you know what that means. We get to rescue another Goron. Let's see, where can we find him? Here he is. And here's the switch for his cell, too. Yep, you're free to go, buddy. Here's a tip for rescuing me. Somewhere in this tempo, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them, okay? Looks like you might need some of the Goron special crop. That's all I have to tell you. There's actually something else that can work, but I'm going to demonstrate that later as soon as we find the boss. But for now, we get another key. Okay, with that, we can now keep going. Let me get the hookshot. There. Seriously? You can't use the hookshot on that wall. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> oh, I see we have another... Uh, Watcher of the stream, meet Watt77, welcome. Get out of here. Oh, please don't get hit by the boulder. I don't want to start this over. But then again, I do have Farah's Wind created, so... In case I fall off, I can just go back to the checkpoint. You, for one, are a fan of the slugs. Um, yeah, I respect your feelings about them, but, um, just curious, why? Like, what is it about them that makes you a fan? Here you are, buddy. Yes, you're free to go. I'll tell you a secret for saving me. If you find a place that you can see on the map but can't reach, try praying, playing, excuse me, your ocarina, praying. Yeah, I was going to say the word praying. Let's just pray to find the answer to our problems. Take another key. 
you know, maybe there is something that I could do to fix up the audio issues during the stream. If not, I'd probably have to restart OBS and, you know, split the streams. Hopefully not more than that. They are cute. Well, you got me there. They are kind of cute, especially the noises that they make. It almost makes me feel sad for killing them. So, that Goron walked out of his cell. How? Did he not fall? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely have no idea. Oh good, I remember the Scarecrow song. As I said before, guys, it's been a while since I live-streamed this. But, um... My memory is usually sharp. Navi's a weenie. Uh, okay. Sure, I, I guess we could refer to Navi as a hot dog. Oh, careful, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. This is a place that we can access, but can't see on the map, by the way. And I'm not for sure if there are other examples throughout the game, but... Yeah, that's one way to access some secrets. Your memory with the game is pretty messy. That's okay. I hear a skull to go someplace, by the way. I'm not paranoid, and I'm not crazy. I heard it somewhere. Oh, here it is. That was easy. You've only been in the game once on the 3DS and that was three years ago. Understandable. That is understandable. Okay, little sob plays, if that's what you want to call Navi. Oh, valuable chest. Valuable chest. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Am I almost there? Just made it. First try. And here we get 300 rupees, 200 rupees, excuse me. Huge rupee. I don't know what my, my mind was thinking. 300 rupees. That's never happened. Another gold go to it here. I wonder if this is the last one that we can find in the dungeon. No, it's not. Well, I kind of figured as much. <clears throat> okay, now I think we can make our way back. And while we do that, just to let you guys know, if you are enjoying the stream, please remember to hit that follow button down below to be notified of whenever I go live the next time I stream this game as well as other games. Every follow that I get from you guys is really appreciated. The more support, the merrier. Are you going to get and use the big Goron sword? Yes, I am. Especially for the final bout in the battle. Like I said before, I'm going to be completing everything in this game. Okay, so far I think we're making good progress. Not really forgetting anything important along the way. Of course, that's for you guys to decide. Or maybe not decide, but to announce. Like, warn me if I forget anything important. You can see it down from here. Isn't that the room where we saw Darunia? Ow. Freaking fire keys. I hate fire keys. 4 5 F looks like eyeballs. That's pretty much my first impression of it. Okay, there's a way through this maze. Gotta be careful about this. Oh shoot, something happened to the screen. 
Uh, what happened to the screen? Oh. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened there. First off, someone was calling my name, and then I hit Command F to uh, mute my microphone for a second so I could talk to my neighbor, and I didn't know that Command F just shortens the screen. I sincerely do apologize for that, guys. We're gonna continue. Ugh. On the bright side, though, I think that did fix things up with my, um, audio desync issues that somebody in the chat complained about. Which I do apologize for, by the way. I do want to keep things in sync as possible. Yeah, looking at the OBS screen now, it does seem like everything is in sync once again. So I guess that is a good thing that that happened. Thank you, neighbors. <laughs> Not really. The neighbors that I'm living next to, they aren't... <laughs> Not so cooperative with me. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, make our way through here. Ow! God dang it. This part always gave me trouble. Careful. Um, you know what? There isn't really anything to do right now, so I'm just going to keep moving. Carefully. Careful. Whoop. Almost didn't see that fire keys coming. Yeah, things are still well. Hashtag the neighbors are awesome. Uh, little saw plays. I can only agree with you on that. Only about ten percent. Oof. No! Oh, 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 oh. I was so afraid that I wouldn't make it. And you guys hear me pull off that weird expression. <laughs> Trying to be funny, guys. By the way, here's an example of a door that can fall, by the way, when you try to open it. You can destroy it if you use bombs. And behind this lies another door behind a secret wall. Looks like things are still fine with the stream. And here's our mini boss within the fire temple. This guy is known as Flare Dancer. Extinguish his flaming claws first. Two ways that we can do this we can use bombs in order to get him out of that form, and then we can attack him by chasing him down with our sword. And there's also another easier way that you can do it, which I will demonstrate as soon as he. Um as soon as he takes that dancing form once again which is now so you can also use the hook shot to get him out of the form and then you can deal damage against him once again oh no you don't you're not getting away come here yes I'm okay Banjo Kabooey sometimes I can add a, I can make insane but you know insanity can be sometimes funny but I'm not too insane I try to keep myself together Get back here, you're not gonna get away! Woo! Okay, that's done. So now from here, we can keep moving on to the next floor. Let's see what lies in here. Hmm, another one of these crystal switches. Well, you know what that means. There we go. 
By the way, I really hope that you guys didn't hear my neighbors in the background. I did mute my mic when someone was talking to me. Wait a minute. Oh god, I remember this. This is not going to be pleasant. This is not going to be pleasant. Uh Oh, what am I thinking? Get it together. Think straight. Think, think to think. Okay, ours win. We're gonna create this here in case we fall off, which might happen. Keyword might. Because this has happened to me in the past before. And I was deeply furious when that did happen to me. No, 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 no. Careful, careful, Link. No, Steel Series controller. Link, why would you jump off and get hit by a boulder? Why would you do that? You're getting close to 100 followers? Well, that's good, little stop, please. I currently have a total of 67 followers on Twitter. Honestly, I wish I could get better than what I am now, but. Oh well. Maybe someday it'll happen. If I can at least get to 100 followers on Twitter, then I'll be happy. Okay, that's better. Much better. And with that, we get the Megaton Hammer. Press C to smash and break junk. It's so heavy, you need to use two hands to swing it. Go ahead and take this out. Fire keys, get away, get away. Thank you. We're out of here. Down to the next floor we go. Just so you guys know, you can alert me of any issues that occur during the stream if you want. Like sound distortion as well as desync issues if the stream cuts out all of a sudden. Just let me know of that as soon as possible and I can do the best I can to fix it up. But for right now, it seems as though that, you know, nothing bad is happening right now. And I'm seeing on my second monitor, that the monitor blah, gotta speak more slowly, that the stream is running fine. That's really convenient. Okay. Now we'll take this crate with us because there is something up ahead that we need to do. Put this crate on top of this switch so that we can open the door permanently and make our way through. Same thing as before. Whee! Yes, Navi? This switch looks rusted. Yeah, sounds better synced than before. Awesome, cool. Okay, that switch opens up that door. Yep, I can definitely see where this is going. And for some reason I couldn't make the jump. Well, that's okay, because we can do... Whoops, we can do this instead. Ah, oh, what is wrong with me tonight? Like, it's been a long time since I played this game, but I wasn't expecting myself to have this many issues with the stream. Okay, let's make our way to the Switch. But you know, things do work out in the end. Like, things come to fix themselves and whatnot. Yes, buddy, you're free to go. I'll tell you a secret for saving me. A door is hidden inside the statue at the entrance to this temple. But the Goron special crop won't work on it. Don't you have anything stronger? I've got the Megaton Hammer. Maybe that can help. Be 
Before we go, we're going to take this key with us. And with that, we can now keep moving. I think I do remember where the last Gotula is, by the way. It is on the main path. And the next Gotula that we get should be the last one for the temple. But you can't be too sure of that because... Well... If you're playing this game the first time around, and you're trying to get all of the gold Skulltulas, then it can be a challenge for you to get them all. Unless you use a guide. And also the case if it's been a long time since you played the game, which happens for me in my case. Is there five fire keys flying right be behind me? I can't even talk. Ah! No! That's what you freaking get. Get wrecked fire keys. Okay, let's keep going from here. And this emulator screen is blocking the chat again, which is really annoying. There. Alrighty. Oh! Almost did not see that coming. Ow. I didn't see that coming. There's just too much to deal with. Honestly, I don't know the best way to go about this, but I'm just doing the best I can. Dup. Die already, thank you. Oh, hang on. I think you can also do this as well. Render these slugs defenseless. And I think it also douses their fire as well, and exposes their underbelly. And yes, guys. Actually, to the one person who thought that slugs were, uh... That, uh, slugs were cute. Yeah, that's another way of dealing with fire slugs, but it's also brutal, so I apologize to that one person for defeating fire slugs that way. Like, I can just tell right away that one person's gonna go, Hey, multi -key Master 1, how could you destroy that fire slug like that? He's just so cute and defenseless! If you guys say that to me, I will gladly understand and take the guilt. <laughs> and this go to go here, and I think this should be the last one. Oh, another episode of Twilight Princess Little Stop Plays? Nice. 3 hours, 41 minutes, and 21 seconds? Let me guess. You're using Sony Vegas to render the videos, aren't you? Oh, almost forgot to sing that. Goat Skotila. Thank you, Banjo Kabooey. Oh, this guy again? This isn't even worth my time. But you know what? We'll engage it in the battle anyway. Come here, little fella. Come here. Hmm, he just hops away right away. I would imagine how bad it would hurt if I hit this guy with a hammer. Oh, come back here. Come here. Hey, you're dead now, Buster. And there we go. Hmm, this is kind of an awkward position for me to sit in while I'm streaming, even though you guys can't see it, but you know, it's worth it. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, sorry about that little stop plays. I've had that issue as well. I used to render videos with Sony Vegas, but I just couldn't take it anymore because of those ridiculous long rendering times. So I switched over to Adobe Premiere Pro, thanks to the help of one of my friends from college. Yep, you're free to go. Oh, I see. Big Brother Darunia asked you to rescue me. I owe you big time. Please help, Big Brother. I most certainly will. Right after I cross, cross my legs because my legs are starting to hurt like crazy. When I'm crossing them. Okay, that should be better. Yeah, much more comfortable. Let's see what we have inside the chest. 
And yes, guys, before you say it... That was the sound of my bed, by the way. I accidentally bumped into it. Before you guys say it, yes, I'm wasting time getting comfortable, but come on. Comfort is key within the streams. Okay. You're getting too, getting so much lag. It's not funny. Um. How much CPU? The sh OBS isn't using a lot of CPU. Uh, is anyone else getting lag? Anyone? Because I'm having a look at the second monitor, and it seems like things are running fine. Here's a challenge. Fight the boss with the broken sword. Mega, do I have to? Anyone else getting lag? I'm not getting lag with the second monitor. No lag. Uh, back... How do you how do you pronounce that? Back there, seventy seven. Try refreshing and maybe adjusting the stream qualities because maybe it's an issue on your part. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, sorry I was holding you guys up. I'm just trying to make sure that you know there's no lag and therefore you can all enjoy the stream. Yeah, Little South Place says he's fine as well. So anyway, as I was saying earlier, Mega Wii Master 1, do I have to fight the boss with a broken sword? I mean, come on. Do you know how long that's going to take me? I don't have all night to stream this, you know. I have work in the morning. Anywho. Let's, uh... Can't adjust the quality? Uh, it should be somewhere on the, you know, monitor. I had that issue as well, and, you know, adjusting the stream quality fixed the problem. I do watch other streamers, by the way. Not gonna say who, I'm just letting you guys know. Okay, fairy number one, here's fairy number two. Love that music. Do it for at least one boss. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's see what the rest of the audience thinks. Guys, quick question. Do you think that I should face one of the bosses in this game with a broken Goron sword? Please say yes or no. We're going to see what the rest of the audience thinks. I mean, trust me, Mega Wii Master 1, you are my friend, but come on, a challenge as ridiculous as that? Do you know how long that's going to take me to finish off the boss? Do it? Are you serious? Are you guys serious? What? <laughs> really? Okay, guys, just for you, I'll use the Broken Goron Sword on Vavagia. I promise. <laughs> but I need to use the Megaton Hammer as a means of weakening his defenses. Subterranean Lava Dragon, Volvagia! You guys are killing me here. <laughs> Do it for the final boss. Uh, absolutely not. But then again, maybe I'll think about it. Oh, I need the, I need the sword. I need the sword. Oh, this is gonna suck. Wait a minute. Oh, wrong weapon, wrong weapon. Sorry, guys. Good thing I didn't strike him on the face. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. I can't believe you guys want me to do this. Oh, man. This is gonna take me a very long time. Not for the final boss, just one is fine. 
Yeah, I'm gonna use the broken sword against this guy. I can't believe you guys are making me do this. Oh, huh, for some reason, Bovakia... Oh, he's blowing fire. Ooh. I love this boss music, by the way. It may be stupid, but it's also dumb. Why did you suggest it to me, Mechawi Master 1? You do know that I want to finish these bosses off as quickly as possible. Back there, 77. Thank you for following the stream and welcome to the combat zone. <laughs> You're one of the people that requested me to defeat this boss with the broken Goron sword. <laughs> you guys are making me laugh tonight. This is stupid, but <laughs> this is what you guys requested. But now you get to see how pathetic this thing is. A Spongebob reference? Forgive me if I didn't catch that. Come here, Volvagia. Boom. By the way, Navi, what do you have to say about this boss? Volvagia. It's the boss of the Fire Temple, revived by the evil king. I don't know its weak point. Meatwad77, thank you for following the stream and welcome to the combat zone. Two follows tonight, that's awesome. This is so dumb. Oh, by the way, Mega, you may have told me to use the broken Goron sword against this guy, but you never said anything about jump attacks. So I can use a jump attack to speed this along. Oh my god, this is so dumb. But at least I can enjoy the boss music. Okay, where are you, Vagia? Oop! Another blow. This is gonna take forever! Oh my god. Jump attacks are fine. Thank you. Because now I can speed this along. You should play the game with a broken giant's knife. Uh, well you can try it if you want to, Banjo Kabooey. Defeat him with bombs. I'm sorry, little South Plays, but Mechawi Master 1 already requested that I defeat this guy with a broken Goron sword, and I can't really change it, so unfortunately, I can't do it. Plus, if I use bombs against him, then uh, I would be failing to meet the demands of Mechawi Master 1, and by demands, I mean requests. You're enjoying the struggle. <laughs> you guys are mean. You guys are so mean. Why do you do this to me? Like it's bad enough I'm in a volcano, now you're just dragging me to jail. Having me perform all of these ridiculous requests. Ah, uh, You guys. You guys. Come to think of it, I think this guy is almost defeated. Yeah, one more blow should definitely do it. And someone's dog is barking outside of my house. Wonderful. Hope that doesn't pick up in the blue snowball microphone. It shouldn't though, because I do have my blue snowball microphone position at a place in which, well, not much sound can be heard. Oh, 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 oh. Almost didn't see those boulders coming. Almost did not see them coming. Yes, I know you only requested this one thing, Megui Master 1. Yeah! There we go! Wavakia well, has been defeated with the broken Goron Sword. <laughs> of course, in retrospect, if things are broken, then they usually leave, like, sharp tips, so... It probably would be a lot more painful. You would think, but... No, apparently things that are fully formed do more damage. Heart container, yes! And there you have it guys, I defeated Volvagia with the broken Goron sword. There you have it. 
I'm not sure if that's going to be a highlight to my stream, by the way, but that w this will be going up on YouTube on my second channel. Switching back to the Master Sword, and now we are out of here. Boss time, 4 minutes and 54 seconds. Mega, did you have your stopwatch with you? Please tell me you had your stopwatch activated. Like, tell me that right now. You had your stopwatch activated to keep track of the boss time, didn't you? Dude, what the heck are you doing outside? Get indoors. Yeah, I can see you guys laughing. Laugh it up. You did have a stopwatch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turn out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. I need to adjust the screen a bit. Hang on. Here we go. By the way, I, the Wild Darunia, turned out to be the Great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. Darunia, I will happily accept this medallion. So I suppose this makes us Swarm Brothers now. I actually do like the idea of being Swarm Brothers, you know? It's like it builds an everlasting friendship. Don't forget! Now you and I are true brothers. Ah, hiccups, excuse me.